Uh, uh, hi, everyone. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about something very important, which is about uh, Corona uh, and more specifically about how we can test Corona on uh, samples of non uh, ceramic insulators. Uh, just to remind ourselves of this uh, uh, diagram that we, we mentioned before, we said that aging in non ceramic non ceramic insulators can be caused by electrical discharges or environmental uh, conditions. Okay, so discharges like Corona, dry band arcing, and we spoke uh, a little bit about dry band arcing. Also, UV and humidity, uh, also they will uh, influence the aging uh, process by themselves and as a synergistic effect with, with the electrical uh, discharges. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about, as I mentioned, about uh, Corona specifically. Now, Corona can be caused by uh, two main reasons. The first one is by the insulator hardware. So if there is a defect in the hardware, sharp point, you might see some uh, sort of uh, surface discharge here on the, on the surface of the insulator that will lead to, uh, to aging. Also, wetting on the surface can also cause uh, Corona. And here, uh, I, I'd like to make a, a very clear difference between surface corona and dry band arcing. In dry band arcing, we have full wetting on the surface, but here, uh, because of the difference in the dielectric constant between the water droplet, which is has at 80 dielectric constant, air, which is one, and the uh, sheath of the material, which is around four, you will have here a very uh, high uh, electric field intensified, and uh, this can initiate a corona if the uh, electric field uh, is high enough to cause ionization of air. So we'll start to have co corona here at the tripling point. Now, uh, this corona can be evolved to arcing. Uh, in this uh, photo, we apply a two water droplets, uh, zero kV, and then one. At 12.9 uh, uh, kV, you start here. You start to have sort of elongation of the water droplet, and this is because of the uh, the force that is generated because of the high electric field. And now this is the time. So as time progress, th those water, water droplets become closer and closer to each other, and until you have a complete wetting on the surface that can lead to leakage current, that can lead to dry band arcing. Okay, so. Corona can also initiate dry band arcing or by itself without the uh, evolution of uh, from Corona to dry band arcing. They also they have a damaging effect on the surface of the of the material. And this is way before any development of any measured level of leakage current. The question is how we can test the uh, the material or uh, 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 specifically, test the material, the impact of the corona on the material. Now, the inclined plane test, we talked about it before, is a test for the material uh, or testing the impact of dry band arcing on the material. Okay. Now, for corona, there is no ranking test for material available in the standard. And if you uh, do any literature survey, you will find different tests all over the globe and they are not really uh, close to each other. There are big differences between them. So I'd like to share with you our experience for the hope that in the future we might have uh, a standard test to uh, test the impact of Corona on uh, on non ceramic uh, insulators. Uh, now, before talking about that, I'd like here to uh, express a very important findings in the literature, which is that the corona effect, along with the environmental conditions like uh, humidity and UV, more specifically these two factors, they can work together to even enhance more the uh, corona, the corona aging on the surface of the of the of the material. So anyone who want to test corona they have also to include the impact of these two, uh, two important factors. So we have this set up at our uh, university, University of Waterloo. We have a uh, sharp electrode, and here is the samples. 
Okay, now uh, this sharp electrode, we energize it at 10 kV. Again, there is no standard for that. And we have the uh, distance around five millimeter, no standard for that either. And then we try to uh, using an ultrasonic humidifier to have a high level of humidity and low uh, level, 80 and 40%. Uh, of course, we will have here a humidity sensor, and then we will have a, a sort of a controller to control on and off uh, the ultra uh, sonic uh, humidifier, so that we can control the level of the of the humidity. Also, we have an UV lamps, and these UV lamps will be used also for the for the aging. We'll try with and without UV. So we'll try high and low humidity. We'll try with and without UV and combine all these three factors, the electrical stress, the uh, humidity, and the UV. We want to see the impact of this, these factors on the surface of uh, non-ceramic insulators and more specifically on silicon rubber. How we evaluate, how we assess the material of, after aging, we will try two different things, static contact angle measurement and scanning electro uh, electro microscopy or SEM. But before going through some of the uh, very, very preliminary results, let's go to the lab and have a look about how the setup uh, looks like in real, in real life. Uh, this is the setup. Uh, this is the high voltage transformer. And this high voltage transformer is connected through a pushing towards inside the chamber. So this is the pushing. And this pushing is connected to the high voltage electrode system. So you see the sharp point here. And these are the, uh, the samples. And then this is the humidifier, which has uh, the sensor. This is the sensor of the humidifier. And here is the controller. From here then, uh, you control the required humidity uh, level. And this is the UV lamp that will be used for the UV aging. So this is the overall Corona uh, setup that we have. Welcome back. Uh, here is some of the uh, results about the contact angle measurement. Now the contact angle will tell you the condition of the surface of the non-ceramic insulator, if it is hydrophobic, or if it is hydro hydrophilic, of course, the higher the angle, the better is the material. So this is our reference, the untreated sample. So we have like 99 degree plus minus one. So it is obviously very, very high. We tried aging only with UV, no voltage applied, nothing, just UV. And we did that for uh, 24 hours not much of a change happened on the surface. So UV by itself, it doesn't really harm the, the material. Then once we start to apply the high voltage electrodes, we have humidity with or without UV, then you will start to see a decline, huge decline in the contact angle because the material surface becomes very uh, very hydrophilic and of course the highest drop in the contact angle was when we have both the high humidity and the and the uv and if we look now to the sem picture you will see that this is the one that has the highest level of physical damage of the of the material but uh, nonetheless all other uh, this condition also led to the uh, decline significantly of the of the contact angle. So when you look to here to the SEM uh, pictures, this is an aged material. This is our reference. This is for when you have a UV, just a little bit of discoloration, nothing serious happened to the to the material. Now, once we start to have high voltage, humidity low or high, so this is the low humidity without UV low humidity with UV. Now, when you have all of them, you compare these two pictures together, you will see here like a sort of a more of physical damage, which is much more apparent here when we have the, the, the most severe conditions, which is the high humidity with UV. You can see even start to see cracks happen on the, on the insulator uh, surface. Uh, of course, these results are not conclusive, and this is just an ongoing project, but 
Corona is something very, very important. Corona is different than dry band arcing, and we need to develop tests for that, along with uh, the uh, changing some of the environmental conditions, specifically the humidity and the ultraviolet. Until we had our own, uh, hopefully in the future, we have a standard test, then every lab can come up with different parameters. Sharing the results will also help to uh, standardize the whole testing procedure.